Morning folks, David here with Destination Human. Uh, come to you this bright, early Kentucky morning. Beautiful today. It's cold. Had a lot of rain here over the past few days. It's uh, been quite a challenge to say the least. Um, didn't get the house flooded or anything like that, but uh, a lot of standing water had a lot of water coming off this hillside towards the property. As you're, as you're looking down, you can see uh, see the barn down there, and all this hillside runs that way. House is over that direction. It's been a chore, to say the least. That and making sure that I'm warm for the winter also. It's going to be a cold one, folks. It's going to be a real cold one. A um, lot of influences in that direction. Um, at this point in time, we have so many volcanoes going off. Um, you can expect that it's going to change the temperature. Um, it's going to start causing a dust cloud which in which we're going to it's going to start reflecting that sunlight away from the earth and it's going to start making us colder so we're, we're looking at a very cold cold winter uh, i'm scrambling up here on the top of the hill uh scouting out some more firewood seasoned wood that's been down for a while so i can keep uh keep my place warm in the news let's talk about some news Yesterday, uh, President Obama and uh, Prime Minister of Canada uh, held a press conference uh, in which they were basically uh, continuing their efforts on the North American Trade Agreement uh, or the North American Union, uh, which was brought in by the Bush era. Now, in these times of economic collapse, things are going really, really crazy. You know, uh, Europe already did their thing trying to combine their resources by going to a one monetary system. As you know, the Euro. Uh, back in uh, 2007, uh, the United States did the same thing. They uh, started to make this agreement with both uh, Canada and Mexico in which uh, they produced the Amero. Now, everybody has said, oh, the America's gone the wayside, they're not printing it anymore. Folks, uh, whether it be the Amero or it be some other type of monetary system, uh, it's gonna go bye-bye. Um, hmm. This thing, huh. Now, I don't have very many of them. I'm in that uh, tough economic time like a lot of you folks, but, uh, you know, these are coming very hard to come by. Basically, all this thing is to me is a tool. I, uh, I just use it to be able to get what I need or barter for what I need. But this is going to end up going bye-bye. The only thing this is going to be used for is uh, starting a fire. You know, um, with everything that's going on with this, okay, this monetary system is going to become, you know, prevalent really, really soon. Um, we wouldn't be trying to get this to go into action, or they shouldn't, I should say, they wouldn't want to get, they wouldn't want to get this into action, uh, for the fact that China is calling their in their chips. We gave China 80, no, excuse me, 800 billion dollars of this Amero. Yeah, it got printed. Yeah, it was, it was soon to be circulated. And it was on an agreement that that would be uh, upheld, that that money would be good. So, don't think 
that it's not coming because I guarantee you China's going to cash their chips in. Um, you know, with all the actions of the Chinese military, uh, their underground tunnels, their uh, beefing up their uh, their uh, their abilities in the uh, both the Pacific and the Atlantic. Um, they're not happy with us, um, and I can't blame them. Not one bit. So, you know, those were the things I wanted to come to you today about. The last thing I want to let you know about is that I'm about ready to change everything over to uh, the uh, channel of Destination Human 2012. Uh, from now on, you will not catch any of my news reports here on uh, Doctor Is In. Um, I'll be uh, everything will be going over to Destination Human. Uh, unfortunately, I have not been able to keep up on my news reports like I'd like to, but uh, <laughs> this place is keeping me really, really busy right now. And I'm sure other folks out there, you can uh, understand what I'm going through to be able to keep up. So you're going to have to excuse me if I uh, tend to disappear a little bit, but uh, I need to keep a roof over the head. I need to keep the bellies full. I need to keep the heat on and make everybody comfortable. So. Yeah, I gotta look for this myself just to keep things rolling, but uh, if I needed to, I could self-sustain myself. Uh, I'm out of work, <laughs> just like everybody else out there, so it's all good, though. I'm happy. I'm happy here. At least I have a roof over my head, and I can uh, fend for myself around here. Uh, I got myself set up with uh, uh, having meat here at the, at the house with my chickens and laying eggs, and uh, we've started growing a few things indoors that'll keep uh, keep us rolling. So we're doing okay here. But I know that uh, everybody's on edge, and I understand. Uh, I can see it in the actions uh, of uh, fellow friends. YouTubers and others out there, uh, things are going crazy. Uh, if you haven't heard the vibrations and you're getting stronger, something you should have heard, uh, you should have known something already. Something's getting close because, oh boy, my ears have been ringing completely off the hook. Tones changing, crazy. Some nights. Uh, Oftentimes, I know uh, I've heard others say the same thing. Hearing the music in your ears after you go to bed, uh, after everything's turned off. So, yeah, I know. Today, uh, a little bit happy to see nice, clear skies and not seeing the sky full of all the uh, chemtrails this morning. Um, in fact, uh, my next video is going to be one of my experiences with the chemtrail planes. It's something I've been uh, wanting to uh, put out there for quite some time. And uh, if this uh, piques your interest a little bit, I wish that you would come over to the new, uh, new channel because um, it will be informative. It's my experience with uh, uh, our U.S. government's actions. And I worked as a contractor on several bases in North Carolina in which I'm going to give my experience seeing these planes, seeing them being refueled, reloaded, seeing the, the chemicals come out on rail cars, seeing the canisters that they load them up on, seeing the planes with logos on them that don't match any, any logos, commercial flight logos throughout the world. And uh, I'll present that also. So uh, that's it for today. Uh, I, like I said, uh, today will be the last, this video will be the last that I do uh, for uh, Doctor Is In, everything for Destination Human will be going over to the new channel. So folks, please, please come on over there if you're still interested in the news reports. Um, a doctor is in.
channel. I'm not saying go away from it, uh, but I will be posting, you know, family type things there. Um, just for fun, get a smile, and even I'll even bring some of that stuff over to uh, Destination Human also, just for keep a smile on your face because life is what you make it, and I believe that wholeheartedly, and I, I'm hoping that uh, you folks out there are making the best of your days because there are few and far between uh, in these days, so please make yourself happy, get out there, do things. Enjoy this life, enjoy this earth I have, I am now, I should say. So, for now, that's today. It's Thursday. Folks, have a great day. Love, light, and peace. We'll catch you on the next video.